This is the story of how I convinced the internet to churn butter in my backyard. Sounds so weird. <laughs> this project was inspired by all of the class trips I went on when I was a kid. We'd go to a restaurant, and the restaurant would have little coffee creamers on the table. And we would steal one, and then for the rest of the weekend, or however long we were gone, we would shake it. And then we would pass it off to someone else in five minutes, and then they would shake it. And after like a full day, we would open it up and there would be butter inside. I just realized I'm not going to be able to explain this project in a way that makes any sense whatsoever. So I wasn't sure how to make butter, but I was told by a couple websites that as long as you whip heavy cream for an extended period of time, it will separate into butter and buttermilk. I used a paint can to hold the milk, and I built a frame around it. I connected a piece of plastic to a pneumatic piston, and connected that piston to a solenoid, which was connected to a microcontroller. Every time you visited the website and clicked a button, it would send a request to the microcontroller at my house, which would then depress the piston through the solenoid. The first time, there weren't that many people watching, but the people that did watch stayed around for a long time. I was very surprised that it worked. The butter was a little more whipped cream than butter, but it was still good. I did it one more time because a ton of people messaged me saying that they missed out. I bought some more heavy cream and we got started. About midway through the stream, someone asked me if I had food coloring, and I did, so we decided as a group to dye the butter green for Shrek. And when we did a second round of butter, the stream decided on purple for Thanos. And when I tested it, it was not bad. It was good butter. I mean, it was butter. It was a little off-putting because it was purple and a couple flies got in it, but eh. I was gonna cook with it. I kept it in the fridge for a week and then decided, no, I, I, I don't need this. I'm sitting here trying to explain this project like it's a completely normal thing, and it's not, and I'm well aware of that. So yeah, that's the story of how I made butter. If you're wondering what I'm gonna connect to the internet next, you're in luck. I have a life-size skeleton that I'm gonna be hooking up so you can control it like a marionette. <laughs> this is so ridiculous.